LaCroix Wave Expert 100H is a complete signal integrity workstation offering unmatched ease of use and measurement accuracy. The ST20 sampling TDR modules feature a 20 picosecond incident rise time, and the standard software provides true differential S parameter measurements on one or two port devices. The 10 mega sample per second HCIS time base provides the fastest sampling and deepest memory for accurate jitter measurements on even the longest data patterns, along with a 250 femtosecond jitter noise floor. LaCroix's iDoctor Advanced Signal Integrity Tools provide an environment using measured waveforms and S parameters to de-embed fixtures and simulate stressed eye patterns using virtual probing. We will demonstrate the debugging capability of the Wave Expert 100H using the jitter measurements to measure the intersymbol interference introduced to a 3 gigabit per second serial data signal by a 24-inch backplane. Next, the TDR feature will be used to measure the impedance and S parameters of the backplane in order to diagnose the source of the intersymbol interference. The jitter analysis feature of the Wave Expert 100H is used here to measure the jitter of a 3 gigabit per second serial data signal measured at the end of a 24 inch transmission line and to break the jitter components down. The eye pattern clearly shows the closure due to intersymbol interference or ISI caused by the transmission line. The ISI parameter indicates a value of 137 picoseconds or about 40% of a unit interval. In order to diagnose the source of the ISI, the impedance and S parameters of the backplane are measured using the TDR feature of the WaveExpert 100H. The calibration wizard guides us through the setup procedure and performs a reference plane calibration using standards. An automatic DSKU feature is available for measuring differential channels. The impedance measurement shows the impedance of the backplane as a function of time. Note the large discontinuity at the left side of the screen. The vertical dotted line is the input to the transmission line. This measurement is performed with a 20 picosecond rise time TDR step. To see what the impedance would look like to the actual signal, the rise time will be adjusted to 70 picoseconds. The slower rise time reduces the impedance discontinuity. Zooming in on the impedance discontinuity at the backplane input, we see that the impedance first dips down to 10 ohms and then back up to 65 ohms before settling back to 50 ohms. This shape is characteristic of a shunt capacitor followed by a series inductance. The width of the first dip is 145 picoseconds, corresponding to 7.5 gigahertz. The display is switched to measure the return loss, or S11. The screen shows the level of the signal that is reflected back to the source as a function of frequency. The range of the plot is 0 Hz to 20 GHz and the vertical scale is 10 dB per division. The return loss is very good at frequencies up to 2 GHz, but increases as the frequency approaches 7.5 GHz. Above this frequency, almost the entire signal is reflected back to the source. Note that 7.5 GHz corresponds to the dip we found in the impedance. It seems likely that the impedance dip at the backplane input is causing the ISI we saw in the eye pattern. To verify this, the calibration wizard is used to perform a two-port measurement. The wizard guides the user through the calibration process. Automatic DSKU is available to provide true differential stimulus and measurement. The measurement shows the insertion loss as a function of frequency, or S21. The scale of this plot is 10 dB per division and 20 GHz. Note that the insertion loss is very high for frequencies above 2 GHz. The return loss indicated that a large amount of the signal was reflected back at frequencies above 2 GHz. The insertion loss measurement confirms this. The S parameters are stored in industry standard touchstone format. This file includes the full two-port S parameters, which can be either single-ended or differential. For differential measurements, the common mode and differential results can be stored. We demonstrated that LaCroix Wave Expert 100H is an important signal integrity tool to debug causes of jitter due to poorly performing backplanes, which in this case caused eye closure. Return loss and insertion loss plots were viewed, and S parameter files of backplanes were saved for use in other LaCroix tools such as iDoctor2 Advanced Signal Integrity Tools.
There, the measured S parameters of a serial data channel can be used to de-embed the serial data channel response to confirm that that is the cause of ISI.